Hi, my name is Keith Cooper and I'm going to be having a look at ID card printing on this the Epson ET18100. It's an EcoTank printer with dye-based inks. Now, most printers I've looked at, of you know, desktop printers, come with adapters for printing CDs, DVDs. This one has a longer adapter and it has two rectangular slots in it and they are for printing ID cards. Now these are plastic ID cards. These were some generic ones, printable ID cards purchased in um, from Amazon, I believe. Um, I, I didn't actually get these, but these I believe are also RFID cards as well. So if you have the ability to program and do stuff like that, then these can be used as part of a proper ID card system. Um, ID cards are not something um, I have much experience of. Um, I have not worked in the corporate world for a long while and I'm just curious about printing something like this because it's it's plastic so I'm going to see how the inks dry and also the software that you might use to produce the cards. Now I've created the images uh, that I'm going to do. I'm just doing a test image here and here is a suitable ID card for me for north light images. Uh, puts me down as an official photographer. Um, perhaps I'll keep it in my camera bag for the next time um, a security guard comes along and wants to know what I'm doing photographing something. Um, but yeah, it, it's an example for it. It will print borderless, but it does say that if you print borderless, you need to clean this afterwards because there may well be some overspray. This particular image does not use that. Now, what am I going to use to print it with? No, well, I've created the image in Photoshop, but you could use any application for that. Makes no odds for that. I just needed an image of the right size. I created a canvas of the right size for it um, and just created an image, chuck some text and whatever onto it. Um, you can also print, uh, do barcodes and things like that. There are lots of online um, options for putting barcodes. So um, you could put a barcode that links through to a website or something like that, a QR code or something like that. But anyway, I'm going to be using the Epson Photo Plus software. Now, this is sort of software that I normally, when I get one of these printers, I go, mm, oh yeah, it comes with the printer and don't really consider using it for anything. It is what you should use if you want to print CDs because it handles the layout and everything for it, handles the images. Likewise for the ID cards here, it works for it. So I'm just going to go to the option. I've had to select the printer. So I'm just going to go to ID card here. Now the only option for this is a 54 by 86 millimeter standard ID card. You get an option for portrait or landscape mode. I'm just going to put it into landscape because the image I created is produced for landscape mode. There is an option for double-sided, um, which you can put both sides in and it will print one, then prompt you to turn it over and out. Now, I noticed that these cards, I left them for at least an hour to dry thoroughly um, before putting them in upside down. Um, the ink does dry well. Um, I've not tested how waterproof, it'll depend on the actual cards you're using as to how good they are. But anyway, all I want is just to pop a card into that. Now, um, I've cleaned my hands first so I can pick things up like this, but if you've got, you don't want to make marks on them before you print. So all I'm gonna do is just drop that into that. And that doesn't clip into place, it just lays in place. So that's the, uh, that's the card there, but, I'm going to actually show the how I made the card, put the do the printing. So I'll go OK for that. It takes a little while to load up, but this is a slow Mac. This is running on an old Mac. So this software you can use on old machines. It works perfectly well. I commend Epson for keeping it going with lower spec machines because a lot of people won't have the latest stuff, may want to do something like this. But anyway, here are the two slots. And I need to ins put a picture. I can put text. I can do some um, basic editing here. But I think if you want detail, uh, colors, backgrounds, etc., it's probably best to do the picture in an editor before. I've saved it as a JPEG, so that's fine. So I'm just pressing the photo icon and it points to these files. Now we want an ID card, 1800. There's the picture I've created for it. Now, the picture, you could 
cut it and edit it and do things here. Once again, I would suggest doing everything in an external editor so until you're happy with things. So I'll just go OK with that. And it's too big. So I need to scale it. Um, it normally it defaults to printing slightly oversize. I just grab the handles here, move it, shrink it, and there I've put it onto the right size for that. Now, there is a button at the bottom here that says I can do some adjust adjustments for the image correction. I've left it as standard photo enhance. It seems to you know, work well with pictures of this. There is no fancy color management for this. There are no profiles or anything like that. So it's really not worth doing that. So all I've done here is I've got the standard. I'm going to do a test print. And the test print is done on just a sheet of plain paper. Um, always worth doing before you do a card because a sheet of plain paper, and this is the rear side of an ready use sheet, is far cheaper than wasting an ID card on it. So paper size A4, A4, standard plain paper, print. If I had two cards set up here, it would print both sides of it. Now, paper feed for this, very good. Notice I've got the tray out here. It's a manually operated tray on this one. And there we go. I've got an example. That's what it's going to print. Now, I know that the color is a little off printing on here, so don't be too worried about the color here. If it looks good on your screen and your screen is set up well, that's what it's going to look like. So anyway, I know that's what the card looks like. Now, what you do with this, you have to send the print data to the printer before you do the printing. Now, first of all, I'm going to have to put this back in because the top of the tray here is the guide for this. So we will do, we'll close the photo edit section. Um, I've got printer, setup, disk tray, card, layout, borderless, media, PVC, ID card, borderless. We're just going to print the one. I've got the number to print here. So if I want, so I'm just going to go start printing. And it says, check that the ID card tray is clean, clean it, send your print job first. This is the important bit. Then load the tray. This has no display on it, so it can't give you helpful little messages. Um, you know, some of the other models have a proper LCD display, so it would tell you what to do, perhaps even show you what to do. But with this one, no, we've just got a few buttons on the front here. So I'm going to go OK here. It's going to send the print data. It's complete. Now, this is making some whirring sounds. It's going to detect that this tray is not in place. And we get a little orange light come on here over that button there. So I'm just going to push this in and there is quite some resistance. So I push it through to about there and you can feel a firmer resistance. You're going, you can feel it going in under the rollers, holding it in place. So it's quite firmly to press it. Now press that button there. And now hopefully we should get our ID card printed. Does this a few times, you can hear the uh, carriage moving backwards and forwards. And it's printing. It's fairly quick. Has only got to print just that small area. And we're done. And there is my ID card. Now it's only printed on one side. Um, I would print it, I would leave it to dry because if I look carefully, although I can see, I can see that the ink is quite heavy and the picture here, certainly on the dark t-shirt I'm wearing, uh, the ink looks slightly damp where it's settled. I can see it sitting on that. Now I know from testing this that basically to take this off and leave it for 
well, I'd be on the safe side, I'd leave it for a minimum of half an hour or so to dry until when you look at it at a glancing angle, you can no longer see what looks like slightly damp ink on it. So there we have the card printed. As you see, quite different from the uh, print on plain paper here. Much more intense, the colors are correct, everything is right there. So I've printed that. Um, here is the one I made earlier. And uh, this one has some print on the rear side as well. I've added a barcode. I've got another barcode at the top here. It says official pass if found contact, and then it's got North Light Images phone number. Um, why the barcodes and things? Well, people expect to see stuff like that on cards. It's useful as well if, if I wanted to show somebody and see, you know, wanted, somebody queried who I was uh, on, a, on a job. And it does happen because uh, not, not every time does everyone know that you're going to be there photographing a building, for example. Um, if they've got a mobile phone on them, I can just point them to this and it will take you straight to the North Light Images website. In particular, it takes you to a page that tells you about us and has another picture of me on it. So um, there we go. That is a car. Prints you know, with this, there is no overspray because I've not printed right to the edge. If you did print, then wipe it down with a piece of damp tissue and something like that. So there we have one ID card, front, back, and there we have uh, another one, just the first part for it. So I hope that's useful. Um, the reason I've done this, because it's fairly straightforward, as long as you use the right software, and you're careful about following the instructions and not loading the tray here until you get the indication here on the front of the printer. Now, I will be having, I've done quite a few videos about this, the 18100, including comparing it to the ET8550, uh, which is a very nice, much more general purpose printer. But of the two, this is the one for glossy color photo prints, if you want to do. The dye is very good in this. Um, and here is something else it prints on. Now, this suggests that if you've got the right stickers, you could print on stickers as well and all sorts of stuff. But I don't have the media to test that. I can only test the, the stuff that I've actually got. But uh, proper card. If you really want it, you'd laminate it to protect the surface of it. But that's going a bit far. Anyway, I hope that's of use. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, please do ask on, on the comments on this or email me at Northlight. I always appreciate that because it gives me ideas. If you found it useful, please subscribe to the channel. That's appreciated as well. And um, thanks for watching.